going to learn how to differentiate a function like sin x, cos x, tangent x, secant x, cot x, and cos x. Or we are going to differentiate trigonometric function. So we have a few formulas for that. The first one is when we differentiate sin x, we are going to get cos x. So you have to know this. And then when we differentiate cos x, the answer will be negative sign x. And for c, when we differentiate tangent x, we are going to get secant square x. For d, when we differentiate secant x, the answer will definitely be secant x tangent x. When we differentiate cos x, the answer will be negative cos x cot x. When we differentiate cot x, we will get negative cos x square x. So now let's look at example 1. So for example 1, prove that differentiating tangent x will be equals to secant square x. So now we are going to prove the formula for c. We are going to prove this. So to prove that when differentiate tangent x, we get secant square x. We are going to start with converting our tangent x to become sine x over cos x. So that is the formula. Tangent x is equals to sine x over cos x. So we are going to use quotient rule. So our u is sine x. So our u prime is cos x. When we differentiate sine, we get cos. Okay? We can refer to the previous formula. When we differentiate sine, we get cos x. And our v is our denominator, which is cos x. So when differentiate cos x, the answer will be negative sine x. So using the formula for quotient rule, which is u, which is v, and then u prime minus with u v prime divide by v square. Okay, so using the formula for quotient rule, we are going to get this. So this is our v. Okay, that is our v. And this is our u prime minus with our u and this is our v prime and of course divide by v square so when cos x multiply with cos x we are going to get cos square x and then sin x multiply with sin x we are going to get sin square and then negative and negative will become positive and then for the de denominator, we have cos square x. So using identity for this one, we are using the basic identity. Cos square plus sine square is equals to 1. So this is the basic identity for trigonometry. So we convert cos square plus sine square x to 1. And then cos square x remain as cos square x. So as we know, 1 over cos square will be equals to secant square. So proof. Now let us try example 1. Differentiate with respect to x the following function. So the first function is 2 sine x minus 3 cos x. So I'm going to let this as y equals to 2 sin x minus with 3 cos x. And then finding dy dx, 2 is just constant, so we just rewrite 2. And then differentiate sine, we are going to get cos x. And then 3 is just constant. And differentiate cos x. We are going to get negative sine x according to the formula that we've seen before. 
So lastly, the answer will be 2 cos x plus with 3 sin x. Now let's try question B. So for question B, y equals to 4 tangent x minus with 5 over x. I'm going to convert to 5x to the power of negative 1. So our dy dx is equals to 4 is just constant. And differentiate tangent x, the answer is secant square x minus with differentiate 5x to the power of negative 1, we are going to get negative 5x to the power of negative 2. So this is equals to 4 secant square x plus with 5 over x square. For this question, I'm going to leave it as an exercise for you. So as a hint, finding the gradient means that we are going to find dy dx for these functions. So you have to rem remember when differentiate sine x, what is the answer? And differentiating x square is just like differentiate the other function. And then you have to substitute this value into your dy dx. So please try this question and submit to your lecturer. Thank you.